So first up, what makes a diet successful? Any diet that has ever been successful has achieved a calorie deficit. All a calorie deficit means is that you consume less calories than you expend. It doesn't matter if it was Weight Watchers, Slim and World, Intermittent Fast and Paleo, Vegan. If you've lost weight successfully, it's because you've got yourself into a calorie deficit. Oftentimes these are marketed as a miracle cure. You can follow these specific sins, but all they've done in reality is manage to control your calories and get you into that calorie deficit, which is a good thing. So if we know that a calorie deficit is the key, why isn't it easy? Why are people failing time and time again when they try to diet? Which brings us on to our second point, which is adherence. People often ask, what diet should I be on? And if I don't know you, I don't know your lifestyle or anything about you, I haven't got a clue because I don't know what you're going to be able to stick to. The best diet for you is the one that you can stick to consistently. The idea is to make fat loss and dieting as seamless as possible. If you can fit that into your lifestyle, as cliche as it sounds, it becomes much easier and the chances are long term you're going to stick to it and then you won't be ballooning up and down in weight. Clean eating doesn't work long term because it's too strict, there's too many rigid rules. When you break one, a bad day turns into a bad week which turns into a bad month and then you're back to square one. We always use a more flexible style approach with our diet. Nothing is completely off the table but we just understand when can we use it and when we shouldn't use it. A very common thing would be to come in late at night after working all day, you're starving, you end up eating everything in the fridge, which takes you out of your calorie deficit, at least the maintenance level, but more than likely into a surplus, and then we're going to gain weight. A good strategy for a person like that would be to save the bulk of your calories for the evening. So if you don't like eating breakfast, that's no problem. We can save the bulk of our calories then for when you are going to use them, when you are binging, which is late at night. This way you get to come in, eat a lot of food, you're not getting yourself into a maintenance or a surplus, you're losing weight but it doesn't feel like a massive diet, it's not a massive stress to you. Or it could be the opposite, if you're someone that has to eat breakfast and can't function without it, we fit that into your daily plan. So there is no one size fits all diet, it really does have to suit you, but it comes down to achieving a calorie deficit and adherence. Get yourself into that deficit and make sure that you can stick to this diet long term. The best way of achieving this calorie deficit is to lower your calories and up your energy expenditure. If you're not training and your calories are super low, they're going to be very hard to stick to long term. If you do a mixture of a controlled calorie diet and then training, doing something you enjoy three or four days a week, it's going to be much easier long term. So skip the nonsense of hopping on the next diet, whatever people are selling these days. Get yourself to a calorie deficit, find a diet that you can stick to, get training that will up your energy expenditure, do something you enjoy and you will get the results you want. Don't buy into the hype, fat burners, pills, all this bollocks doesn't work. Save your money, save your energy and just do the simple things right.